Hey guys, so today, or tonight, it's night time, I'm going to be doing my Booktubeathon at TBR for 2018. I've filmed this video twice before, this is my third time filming it, and um, the last one was good, it was just, the fan was on the entire time, so it was like a ticking sound, um, and it just really annoyed me, so I just thought I'd refilm it. But it's Sunday, it's literally like two hours until the Booktubeathon starts, um, so I'm just gonna do this really quick. The first challenge is a coin toss, and I'm going to be doing that in my reading vlogs because I'll be vlogging all week, so I'm just going to do that in there. I'm just holding this with my hand because I don't have time to like set it up on a tripod, and um, my arm's getting tired, so I have to take breaks. The second challenge is to read a book about something that you want to do, and for that one I didn't really have any books like on my shelf that were like things I wanted to do. Um, most of them are just like contemporary romance ones, but if you know me at all, <laughs> um, getting married and like having babies is like something that I really want to do and I wish I was older so I could do that, but I'm only 17. Um, but in Morgan Matson's new book, Save the Date, she, her sister, gets married. So it's like all revolving around a wedding. So I figured I'd read this because wedding, you know, me getting married, wedding. Love it. A lot of my books on the TBR can be counted for like multiple challenges by just reading one because the third challenge is to read like a book to movie adaptation and then watch the movie. Another challenge is read a book with green on the cover. But I have Safe Haven which has a movie adaptation and I have Matilda which has a movie adaptation. I also have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. That has a movie adaptation, obviously. Um, I have I am number four, as well as A Boy in the Striped Pajamas. So those all have moody move. Uh, they all have movie adaptations, so I could count any of these for those challenges. As well as a lot of them have green on the cover. This one, Save the Date, has green on the cover with the grass. The Boy in the Striped Pajamas has green in the grass. This one doesn't. Harry Potter has green like on the snake, and like down there and stuff. Matilda has green on the cover. Um, this one has like a green door in the back, Hidden by Helen Frost has green on the cover, obviously. So a lot of them, I don't really have a specific one picked out for like the green cover and like um, the book to movie adaptation is kind of whichever one I'm feeling and whichever one I find the movie for because I was going to pick Safe Haven as like my definitive one, but then that one got removed off of Netflix, so don't know where I'd find that, so I have other ones that I can choose from, but I still want to read Safe Haven. Another challenge is to wear a hat while you read a book from start to finish, um, and I watched a couple other black people's TBRs for Booktubeathon, and they talk about how they don't have hats because hats don't fit on their head, for obvious reasons, and um, I fit into that category. So... My brother let me borrow a hat, but it, like, won't fit on my head. I'll just have to, like, fit on my puff, you know? Um, but this is the hat that I will be wearing. And I'll probably be reading Hidden while that, because it's the smallest. It's only, like, 145 pages. So hopefully I can get that done in, like, one sitting. I'm also not talking about any of what these books are about, because I'll do that in my vlog for the week. So I don't want to, like, keep talking about it. But another challenge is to read a book with a beautiful spine and I think this spine is really pretty. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know what you can see because there's no viewfinder. But um, yeah, I like this cover or this spine and the cover. It's kind of the same thing a lot. And then another one that I put on here because I have the audiobook for it is um, Between Shades of Grey by Ruta Sepetis and so I want to read that one. And the last challenge is to read seven books total and so I don't know which books I'm going to read specifically because I could double up on some books and then read other books because I just have to read seven total and do all the challenges. Um, so I don't know, I just picked a bunch that I could pick from and hopefully I'll get to most of them. That's my quick little TBR, it probably wasn't quick, but um, yeah, that's my TBR. I'm gonna have to start reading in a little bit because it's almost the Booktubeathon, so I hope you guys are excited. Let me know down below if you are participating and what your TBR is for the Booktubeathon, as well as let me know if you are doing videos for the Booktubeathon because I'd love to watch them. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow <laughs> with a reading vlog. But thanks for watching, I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys!